I just uh, bought a fridge. I bought a fridge, a smart fridge. You know what that is? I got a smart fridge. My fridge, there's a screen on my fridge. I call the guy over in the store, I go, who's watching TV on the fridge? He goes, oh, no, 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 no. If you tap the screen twice, it shows you everything inside. <laughs> this is for the people that this is too much work. <laughs> Some people are going, oh, my God, every day I have to start the day by opening this heavy door. I haven't even had my coffee yet. When are they going to put a screen on the fr This is your dumb generation. Putting screens everywhere. A fridge doesn't need a screen. A fridge doesn't need a screen. It needs to stay cold and have a little light bulb so we can eat shit in the middle of the night. <laughs> then the guy said to me, he goes, you know you can talk to the fridge too. You go, hey fridge, am I out of half and half? I don't need to talk to my fridge. <laughs> I'm already talking to too many things. My phone, my car, my TV. I've started talking to stuff that doesn't even talk. <laughs> I was yelling at the ceiling fan last week going, slow down! <laughs> slow down! What are you, dumb? Don't make me get off this couch and pull the cord. Why can't you be like the fridge? Why can't you be like the fridge? Then the guy keeps going, he goes, you know, uh, he goes, the fridge will track your food by UPC code. It'll text you when you're out of something. I don't need my fridge on the internet. <laughs> now somebody hacks my fridge and they release a naked picture of me going like this. <laughs> People are trolling me on the internet. I don't know if you can see over your gut, but you're low on ketchup, you're low on ketchup. <laughs> I was gonna buy one for my parents. My parents with the technology, with the old people. I, uh... <laughs> my mom would text me. She, every time I get a text message, she thinks it's a doorbell. Every time. <laughs> Ding, somebody at the door. Ding, somebody at the door. We're in the car, mom. We're in the car. <laughs> Let's use some reasoning, deduction, or induct, whatever the difference is. I just bought my parents their second Apple TV. Why? <laughs> they did something to the first Apple TV that could not be fixed. <laughs> they found the settings. <laughs> Old people, let us set your stuff up and leave it alone! They made the subtitle so big, it took up the entire screen. <laughs> Just like five words, that's it. Apple TV goes, well, they must be blind. It turned on something called voice assist for blind people, and it was speaking Japanese. I called Apple, they go, throw it out. Just buy a new one. Just... <laughs> If you can afford a smart fridge, you can just buy another uh, uh, Apple TV. My parents, there's no hope. There is no hope for these old people. <laughs> there's a lot of money in death. There is a lot of money in death. I'm buying a house. When you buy a house, the seller has to disclose to you everything that can bring the value down. A cracked roof or leaky basement or mold. Even stuff like if somebody died in the house in the last few years. So listen to me. If you're old. <laughs> if you're old and you think you're dying, get out of the house. <laughs> get out of the house and die, and die. You're gonna die anyway. Do it outside. Do it outside on the pavement. Grab the iPhone we gave you. Go to the pavement, die, and call 911. Call 911. Call 911. And then call your kids and say, I'm dying on the sidewalk because I love you, because I love you.
and I don't want to bring the value of the house down. Thank you so much, Montreal.